As soon as you jump into the Formula One car, everything else on the outside just fades away. And you just want to go out there and throw everything at it. But obviously at this level, there's so much more that comes with it. It's sometimes a difficult compromise through a race situation. You're filled with so much adrenaline, but sometimes in Formula One, you have to be a bit gentle. You have to look after the tyres. You have to manage your, your temperatures with certain things. And sometimes you have to hold yourself back to be able to gain even more performance. Naturally, that sometimes goes against your instincts, but that's just part of Formula One and uh, what you have to manage along the way. My relationship with James and Andrew is great, which is, I think, really important. We're going to be spending so much time together and we really need to, to build that bond to, to understand each other. That's a key part of, of racing and, and that driver-engineer relationship. My role as race engineer is to act as the, the conduit, if you like, for the communication between the garage and the, the driver during the race. Basically to extract the, the most amount of performance um, out of the car and the driver on any given race weekend. And then in addition, when we're in, back in the factory, there's the, the simulator sessions. There's a lot of different, uh, different things that he's going to experience on the track. When he comes back in, he has to be very clear to us what the main problems are, and, and the, the better he is at that, the, the faster really we can try and get on top of them. I think Formula One is such a complex sport. Quite often you can get lost in the computer analysis. What's my engineers telling me? How are my tyres? Are they too hot? Are they too cold? Do I need to adjust any switch changes? George has been going through the various processes of time management, fuel management, switch procedures, and then the general circuit learning that we've been doing as well pauses just before he starts to talk and you can almost sense that he's uh, compiling all the information to just come out in a concise way. It's easier to understand each other, follow each other and almost preempt each other's thoughts in a way. When he's describing a feeling, he always tries to put some numbers against what he's saying. It helps us put some markers in the data and what we see in the data we can kind of line the two up and, and then almost predict that later on. You need the bond and the trust between engineer and driver. Under the time restrictions and the pressured conditions, you can certainly make more progress by having that relationship. I think his talent is, is not in question, um, and if we are able to provide him with the tools in which he can showcase that, I, I think he'll do, do extremely well. Everything I say, they, they know exactly what I mean, and every, every change they make to the car, I know why they're doing it. I think together, having that relationship, we can really push forward. It takes a lot to, to reach this. I give it everything whenever I have an opportunity. I think the best way to do that is just optimise every single weekend. George is very determined. I think he, he's clearly got, he's got talent. When the new drivers come in, there's a lot of new energy. You can feel the change, yeah. To be part of that process of making a change, to really build everybody together as one and push us forward is a real privilege and, and an honour to be, to be part of that.